This video is designed to help you become an expert in organization. You know that you need to become an expert in at least one of the first four areas and a practitioner in all other areas to earn that always wanted A on your project. This video will help you find an easy peasy lemon squeezy way to become an expert using context clues. Let's look at what the rubric says before we do anything else. Uses at least six words that are new to this author. Six. The words will be highlighted and the meaning will be obvious within the writing by looking at the context clues the expert provided. So that means I need to find six. I need to highlight them so my teacher knows that these words are new to me and I need to make sure I insert context clues. Oh, this sounds really hard. Nah, this video is going to solve all your problems. Here's what you're going to look like. Basically, you're going to look at some of the words that you're using, or maybe even some that you're overusing, and replace them using a thesaurus. Or you can define some of the words that are more difficult that you find while you research. So let's take, an ex let's take a look at a few examples. I researched an environmentalist named Rachel Carson, and I wrote a paragraph about, or a couple sentences about her. Rachel spent her summer writing her book. The book was about how pesticides kill bugs and it hurts the environment. As I was reading this, I was thinking, does everyone know what pesticides are? I mean, I kind of know what they are, but I don't use that word in my writing. I bet if I defined it, I could get a point and count that as one of my new to me words. So now let's change it. Rachel spent her summer writing her book. The book was about how pesticides kill bugs and it hurts the environment. I'm going to insert something right here. How pesticides, comma, or sprays that kill bugs, kills bugs. And then I'm going to take, put another comma in here, hurts the environment. Here's my final version. Rachel spent her summer writing her book. The book was about how pesticides or sprays that kill bugs oops, hurts the environment. And now all I have to do is make sure that I highlight this word in my final copy so that I can get credit as it being one of the words that I've chosen. Here's another example, and it continues to be about Rachel Carson. As I read about Rachel Carson, she focuses on making sure that everyone knows about pesticides. So, I know I'm going to be using the word pesticides over and over and over again in my book, so I want to find another word. So I went to my thesaurus and I found some synonyms for the word pesticide. I have the word defoliant, fungicide, insecticide, DDT, paraquat, and weed killer. Well, if I'm thinking like a fourth grader, I really probably wouldn't use this word very often. This word was in her research a lot, so I might be able to pull that one off. Not too sure about fungicide. I don't even know what a paraquat is, but I definitely could use the word weed killer. Let's see how I could change my writing to include one of them. So here's what my, my original sentence would have said. Rachel Carson worked hard to let everyone know that pesticides were damaging the environment. I want to insert this synonym and the context clues to support my new word. Here's my final product. Rachel Carson worked hard to let everyone know that those weed killers that they were spraying to help crops were really damaging the environment. So not only did I include weed killers, I also included the definition for my new word. Now, I could have also included the insecticide that they were spraying, the DDT that they were spraying, because those words made sense to me. 
I chose weed killers because it was a more basic word. And I would want to highlight it so I would get credit as being one of my six. So now it's up to you. You've got two strategies outlined for you in this video. One is to change your writing and include context clues. Another one is to make sure that you just define the word that you weren't too sure of, and then you're giving context clues. My biggest suggestion is to make sure that you understand what you are writing. Don't just pick random words from a thesaurus. They might not make sense. You must understand them to use those words in your writing. So now it's time for you to make that leap. Be in a bigger pond filled with experts. Good luck.